CompTIA Security Plus SY0-701 Practice Exam Questions 196 through 200 This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great. Let's begin. Question 196. A systems administrator would like to create a point-in-time backup of a virtual machine that can be quickly restored if needed. Which of the following should the administrator use? The answer is C. Snapshot. A snapshot captures the current state of a virtual machine at a specific point in time, including memory, disk contents, and configuration settings. It is commonly used to provide a quick restore point before making system changes, software updates, or configuration modifications. If a problem occurs, the administrator can easily revert the VM to the exact state it was in when the snapshot was taken. Question 197. A systems administrator needs to monitor several servers without installing any software on them due to strict configuration policies. Therefore, the monitoring tool must gather data remotely using built-in protocols. Which of the following best describes this type of solution? The answer is A. Agentless solution. An agentless solution enables monitoring of systems without requiring software agents to be installed on the endpoints. Instead, it uses built-in services like SNMP, WMI, or SSH to collect performance and security data remotely. This is especially useful in environments with tight access controls or compliance requirements. Question 198. A company learns that a newly published security regulation will soon apply to its industry. To prepare for compliance, which of the following should the company perform first to assess its current state against the new requirements? The answer is B. Gap analysis. A gap analysis is the process of evaluating the differences between an organization's current practices and the requirements of a new regulation. It helps identify missing controls or policies and provides a clear path to compliance. Performing this analysis early allows the organization to plan, prioritize, and implement necessary changes well before the regulation takes effect. Question 199. A company is evaluating several third-party vendors to provide cloud-based data storage services. Before making a final selection, the company investigates each vendor's security practices, financial stability, and history of data breaches. Which of the following best describes the actions the company is performing? The answer is D. Due diligence. Due diligence is the process of thoroughly investigating and evaluating a third-party vendor before entering into a business relationship. This includes assessing the vendor's security posture, regulatory compliance, financial health, and prior incidents to ensure they meet organizational standards. Performing due diligence helps organizations minimize third-party risk and make informed vendor selection decisions. Question 200. A security engineer is evaluating solutions to protect sensitive data being sent between a user's web browser and the organization's server. Which of the following would be the most appropriate method to protect this data in transit? The answer is D. TLS 1.3 TLS 1.3 is a widely adopted protocol designed to encrypt data in transit between systems, such as between a user's browser and a web server. It ensures that the transmitted data remains confidential and secure from interception or tampering during transmission. As the latest version of the TLS protocol, it offers improved security and performance over previous versions, making it the most appropriate choice for protecting data while it moves across a network. Wow, you have completed 200 questions. How about one more question as a reward for your hard work? Question 201. 
A company recently relocated its data center to a busy urban area with heavy foot and vehicle traffic. To protect the facility from unauthorized vehicle access or potential ramming attacks, the security team recommended installing reinforced barriers around the building's entrance. Which of the following is the best example of a preventive physical security control in this scenario? The answer is B. Bollards. Bollards are short, sturdy posts placed at access points to physically block vehicle entry while allowing foot traffic. In this scenario, they are used as a preventive control to protect the facility from potential vehicular threats. Preventive controls aim to stop security incidents before they occur, and bollards accomplish this by serving as a physical barrier. I must say, having completed this rigorous practice exam, you are now one big step closer to earning your Security Plus certification. Additionally, your commitment and effort are seriously inspiring. The next step is to go ahead and sign up for the official exam. Now, you may have come a long way already, but a little extra review never hurts. So feel free to watch any of our free training videos or give the practice exam another go to sharpen your skills. Every step forward brings you closer to your goal. So stay confident, keep pushing, and remember, we're cheering you on every step of the way. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.